According to string theory, there are 10 dimensions, while M theory says that there are total 11 dimensions. But according to bosonic theory, total number of dimensions may be up to 26. But scientists say that because of self-consistency, a universe cannot have more than 11 dimensions as they become unstable. Because of this unstability, they collapse back down into 11 or 10 dimensions. Get ready to experience the amazing world of dimensions. I request you to watch this video till the end, as this video is going to be more and more interesting as we proceed. I know most of you are aware of first three or four dimensions. The first three dimensions are dimensions of space, that is length, width, and height, while the fourth dimension is the time dimension. You will find it interesting that we have control over the first three dimensions of space, which are length, width, and height. It means we can freely move in space in forward, reverse, up and down directions, but we have no control over the fourth dimension, that is the time dimension. We are only allowed to travel only in the forward direction in time dimension. Even if we could fully control only the first four dimensions, including the time dimension, we would become a person with supernatural powers, because then it would be possible for us to travel freely, not only in space but also in time in both directions, that is past and future, as per our wish. So just imagine how powerful a person would be if he or she could control all the 11 dimensions. Believe me, that person will actually be called the God, as he would have the potential to do the things that you cannot even imagine. So I think you are now ready to enter into the fascinating world of dimensions. So let's discuss each dimension one by one. Zeroth Dimension Any object having zero dimension has no length, no width, and no height. A point is an example of zeroth dimension, as it has no length, no width, and no height or depth. Now let's see what is the first dimension. Any object in first dimension has only one dimension, that is the length. If we connect two points, then we get a line having only one dimension. So a line is an example of first dimension having no width and no height, but only the length dimension. Someone living in one dimensional universe will only be allowed to move in the forward and reverse directions. There will be no existence of anything like left or right for him. Now we will discuss the second dimension. Flat figures like a square or triangle are two-dimensional objects. These two-dimensional or 2D objects have non-zero area but their volume is zero, as there is no height. They have only two dimensions, length and width, so these are known as two-dimensional or 2D objects. A person living in a two-dimensional space can only move on a plane. In other words, he or she can only move in forward, reverse, and left-right directions, but not in up and down directions. So his life will be limited to a plane surface. Everything will be flat with zero height in such a universe. Some daily life examples of a two-dimensional world are screens of televisions and mobile phones. Although they appear to be a three-dimensional world, but actually this world inside these devices is confined to a flat screen having no depth or height. Third dimension. If we add height or depth to a two-dimensional object, it becomes a three-dimensional, that is, a 3D object. A three-dimensional object has non-zero volume. A cube or a sphere are geometrical examples of three-dimensional objects. We live in a three-dimensional world where we can move in any direction in space as per our wish. We are free to move in forward, reverse, up and down directions. Fourth dimension, the time. Time is considered the fourth dimension. As I just told you that we live in a three-dimensional world where we are free to move in any direction in space, but without the fourth dimension, that is the time dimension, no events can take place. 
Without time dimension, nothing will change in this world. Time is the way for three dimensions to change. It is the time dimension that allows the objects to change their position and location in space. Without time, the whole universe will look like a snapshot forever. As we are living in a three-dimensional world, so we have no control on the fourth dimension, the time. We are forced to move only in the forward direction with time. But a person living in four dimensions will be able to go in any direction in time, like past or future. He will have control over the time dimension, as he is a person of four dimensions. So, these were the first four dimensions that can be perceived by humans. I hope you enjoyed the whole video and learned many new things. If you want to watch more such videos without missing my any new update, then please don't forget to subscribe my channel Engineering Made Easy. If you liked the video, then please hit the like button and share it with your friends. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and take care.